Hello and welcome back to another devlog for my planet exploration, material gathering and base building game. This week I've been working on fixing some annoying bugs and improving the UI and adding a brand new building to the game. So let's don't waste any time and dive right into it. First up, I fixed a really annoying issue with the building preview. Before, whenever you open the build menu and place the structure, the preview model would just stay there forever even after closing the menu. It was like an unwanted guest that refused to leave. Please, no, please, no, please. no, I stay, no, I'll stay. But now it finally disappears properly when the build menu is closed. It's a small fix, but it definitely makes the game feel more polished. Or, well, at <laughs> least it makes the game feel working and not be completely broken. Next, I tackled a pretty big issue the player collision with newly placed buildings. Before this fix, you could just casually walk through buildings like some kind of ghost. Not exactly ideal for an exploration game, but now the player actually recognizes the buildings as a solid object within its A-star pathfinding algorithm and moves around them instead of phasing through. It makes everything feel much more immersive and, you know, actually <laughs> functional. <laughs> Now for the most exciting update, a brand new building. Introducing the Comprimator. Does <laughs> the name even make sense? The name comes from a translation mistake, because I am, shocking news, not a native speaker and in my language to compress means comprimieren. So it's not the compressor, but the comprimator, and I think that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this building acts as a storage unit where you can store an infinite amount of one item type. Super useful if you're hoarding materials and don't want your inventory, which still has only one slot, cluttered. To make it visually clear what's stored inside, I spent way too much time working on a cool hologram shader. I was really hyped about it, but guess what? Turns out the exported models from Magica Voxel don't support it. So, yeah, <laughs> hours of work completely wasted, super frustrating, but hey, that's game there for you. I'll figure out another way to display this stored item type in the future. And lastly, I made some UI adjustments. I rounded the corners and made the button slightly smaller. It gives the whole interface a much cleaner and more polished look. I might still tweak the colors a bit, but overall I really like how it turned out. I'm sure I'll keep making small changes as I test the game, just to make things feel as smooth and comfortable as possible. And yeah, that's it for this update. A few bug fixes in your building and a sleek UI. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Comprimator and if this whole thing already makes sense. And yeah, if you have any ideas, please put them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you do not want to miss any updates, please subscribe to this channel and we see us in the next video. Bye.